Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be talking about buttons in Power BI, in particular, how to change what web URL they redirect to, depending on what values are selected, or if no values are selected or multiple values selected, essentially have the button stop functioning or be disabled. Before we hop on into that, I did wanna to quickly touch on my audio quality. I got a new mic, so I think I have got 30 days to return it. <laughs> So if my audio is still really bad, please let me know so I can go return this and try another one. Uh, with that, let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we're gonna be building. Okay, so what we have is nothing pretty, it's nothing fancy, but it's meant to show some real functionality here. So as you can see, I have multiple values selected and as a result, there's no URL being generated and when I click this link, it doesn't do anything. However, if I have just one value selected, you can see the URL changes and the button is enabled. And when I click the link, it goes to that URL. So why is this super useful? This is super useful if you're trying to link to a paginated report, right? And you're trying to pass in parameters. You might only want the, pa the paginated report link to activate if you have one parameter selected instead of multiple parameters. Hope that makes sense. Hope that ties into the last video I made, but yeah. So let's take a look at how this is working under the hood in the Power BI file. Okay, so here we are, I just published it up. So I have a table called values with the value one, two, three, and this is just a table that I entered in. I have a binary measure that returns essentially a true or false that's going not has one value and then it's looking at the values column. So what this does is if I have multiple values selected, it returns true. If I only have one value selected, it returns false. I then have a URL that's essentially just like, hey, if this value is true or false, if it's true, return nothing. If not, return the web URL. And then I have a color that's essentially doing the same thing, but just one color being the grayed out color that shows the button's deactivated and the other color being the black one that shows that the button is not activated. Um, if we go and we look at the button itself, uh, the action is set to a web URL. The function is set to the URL field or URL measure that I defined below. And then if we go down to the border, right? And if we look at that border, the border is just based on button color. And that's it. It's pretty simple, super functional. So if you enjoyed this video and you wanna make my $150 mic purchase worth it, uh, please consider subscribing, liking this video, watching all the way through. I make videos on SQL, Power BI, Python, Fabric, random ramblings. Really haven't made a video on SQL in a little bit. Probably do for that. I still need to continue to build on my Learn SQL for free video series. Uh, so with that, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good night.